first thing this morning, saw some blood, and then saw some more blood, saw some more blood. Good morning, guys. I am off to get new tires for our car. We bought this car, I think, was it four years ago? And this first time having to change the tires. So I guess that was a pretty good amount of life we got out of the tires that came on it. And they're pretty worn out. So I want to get that done before winter. And yeah, just one of those necessary things of life. Tires wear out. And I have to give a report on the brisket that... So I smoked a brisket and a pork butt. I had a little bit of the pork, which was really, really good. But in my opinion, pulled pork pales in comparison to brisket, especially right off the smoker. Well, I took it off the smoker yesterday and then wrapped it in towels, put it in a cooler to let it rest and let the moisture of the brisket and the pork kind of redistribute and let the temp kind of come down a little bit and left it for, we went out on the boat for like three hours. Well, we were out only out on the boat for like an hour, but then by the time we got back and sliced it up for dinner, it was about three hours it rested. It was the best brisket I've made. And I, I think there's still like some things I want to work on in terms of, I think, how I trim it and uh, perhaps the, the, the big question in the smoking process is when to wrap it in butcher paper. So I, I let it smoke for like eight and a half hours before I wrapped it in butcher paper. I think I could have wrapped it a little earlier. Anyways, you probably don't care except for the fact that I just had it for lunch and it's life changing. So good. Well, good morning, you guys. I know that you've been with Peter. He went out to get new tires, which has been quite an ordeal. He ordered them from one place and it took like two months for them to come in. Anyway, I think he got that finished and ran, he ran to Sam's Club to pick up a few things. I have just been here at the house and this morning I'm taking it easy. Uh, this morning, the first thing in the morning, I noticed that I was coughing up a little bit of blood. If you've been around, you have heard it before. Um, my body does this sometimes. It hasn't, I was trying to remember, have, have I had hemoptysis, which is the word for coughing up blood, since being on Trikafta? Yes. Yes. Okay. I just had to think about it for a second. Back in March, when I was sick with a really bad virus, I remember seeing blood in my mucus that I was coughing up. So that was many months ago, and I don't think I've seen it since. So first thing this morning, saw some blood, and then saw some more blood, saw some more blood. So I sent a message to my doctor and I just talked with her and just kind of went over the basics. Um, so today I need to hold off on doing airway clearance, no airway clearance. And that is so that the lung, wherever it's bleeding can chill out and not exacerbate it to make it cause more bleeding and also take a break so it can clot. Um, hemoptysis is just kind of part of life with CF and it can be pretty startling. I'm pretty used to it. And usually how it goes is it's like, oh, well, there it is. And it's kind of like, oh, that was a surprise, but whatever. We know, not whatever, but like in my case, I've never had to be embolized. I think that's the word. They, I think they like put you to sleep and cauterize, like heat up and sizzle the 
bloody part. I don't know. Honestly, I do not know. I think it's kind of like a bronchoscopy and then they do something to make the bleeding stop. I've never needed to have surgical intervention. My bleeding always stops. <clears throat> so just talked with my doctor about that and uh, about, you know, lay low, just do, you know, like be welcome to like live your life, be at home, just kind of keep it low key today. So that's what I'm going to do. And I did notice I was feeling a little extra like tired out the last day or two. Different than the fatigue, shaky, weak feeling. Not that. Just like tired, sleepy almost at times of the day when I normally wouldn't feel sleepy. So I mentioned that to her because I wouldn't have thought anything of the sleepiness until I coughed up blood. And I was like, oh, okay, maybe my body's doing something. But basically, if the bleeding stops on its own, we're good to go. If the bleeding continues or if I have any other symptoms, I would need to go in for imaging and run some lab work um, to check on platelets and that sort of thing. But I suspect, and I told my doctor, I was like, whenever this has happened in the past pre-trikafta, it always stops on its own and I've never needed surgical intervention. But with my new body, meaning on trikafta, <laughs> I don't know what it's going to do. I suspect it'll stop on its own. She's like, just keep me updated. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep her updated. And, and part of the reason I was... I reached out so quickly this morning is because it's Thursday. So that means today and tomorrow are the last times we can plan to do anything before the weekend. Because once Friday at 5 p.m. happens, Saturday, Sunday, all of those days, if anything happens and I need help, I have to go to the emergency room. And we really want to try to avoid that if possible. So tomorrow morning, I will connect with my doctor and let her know if it's the same, better or worse, and we will go from there. So that is what my morning holds. I do feel a bit tired still, so I'm just kind of taking it easy and yeah, with, with that being said, I feel like I might want to go lay down, but we'll see what happens. It is a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. I have the windows open. It is gorgeous. I definitely don't have any exciting updates for you guys, except that Peter mowed the grass and it looks incredible. I did ride in the car when Peter took packages and dropped them off. So that was fun to get out of the house for a minute. I didn't even wear shoes because I knew I wasn't gonna actually get out of the car. Okay, are you ready for the grass view? Oh my goodness. We are so excited to have grass. It's exciting to mow the grass and see it afterward that it doesn't look like a terrible haircut or something. <laughs> Because I think, oh, do you smell something in there? Do you smell my pulled pork sandwich over there? So good. He just gave me a sandwich. It was incredible. Which I, she asked for a half a sandwich, let's be clear. And I thought, once she tastes this, she's not gonna want half a sandwich. So I made her a whole one and she ate it all. <laughs> so that was good. And, what are you doing, Harry? I feel like I'm starting to understand him more. We've had him for like nine or ten months now. Mm -hmm. And I've been starting to let him explore a little bit. Mm -hmm. I just... Yeah, I feel like we know him better. And I ju know just here on the deck where it's enclosed. Yeah. Like at first, I wasn't sure if he was going to bolt and like dash across the yard and like dash out of the fence and, or something like that. But like right now he just wants to eat your sandwich. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's been really fun. The other night Peter was out here on the phone and the fire was on, it was on this little table and Harry was asleep under his sweatshirt. Yeah. It was like the cutest thing and Ollie was asleep 
like right here on the couch or something? Yeah, it was like all three of us were here on the couch. So. Pretty awesome. Okay, you should go eat your sandwich. Mm. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night, Ollie, and good night, Harry. All he can think about is food, food, food.